Today on Engineering Newswire, we're saving lives with a tiny dot, driving an incredibly efficient super truck, rewriting rock history, betting on a Tron light cycle, and saying goodbye to an old friend. Hey, that's me. Medical Foundation and Research Center and ad agency Grey Group Singapore have developed an adhesive back felt bindi embedded with iodine to help fight against malnutrition and other diseases. Millions of women across rural India suffer from breast cancer, fibrocystic breast disease, and complications during pregnancy. Most of these cases have been linked to iodine deficiency. The life-saving dot dispenses the daily required amount of the iodine into the wearer's body via their skin as it's worn. Starting in mid-March, the program set about distributing sheets of the doped bindis to women in medical camps in rural areas, where nutritional aid is more likely needed. The president of the foundation described the campaign as bringing about an awareness of an issue that is all too common. In a nation of 500 million women, this little dot is making a huge difference between life and death, and what's not to like about that? In 2009, the U.S. Department of Energy announced its Super Truck Challenge, which provided funding for truck manufacturers to prototype new designs that were at least 50% more efficient. Now Daimler Trucks North America has unveiled their Super Truck at the Mid-America Trucking Show. The concept vehicle features an impressive 115% boost in vehicle freight efficiency. The Super Truck is also 700 pounds lighter than a standard tractor frame and used as a waste heat recovery system to harvest energy from hot exhaust to boost its battery power. Additional enhancements include a 50% increase in engine brake, a 54% reduction in overall aerodynamic drag, and a sustained 12.2 miles per gallon logged at 65 miles per hour on a stretch of I-35 between San Antonio and Dallas. And while 12.2 doesn't sound super impressive, it is when you consider the average fuel gallon for a freight truck has generally around 6 miles per gallon. That is pretty bad. The super truck has a load of other features that make it even more energy efficient, such as solar panels and predictive technologies, but I just don't have time to list them all here. Let's just say I'm super excited about this super, super truck. RM Sotheby's, a collector car auction house, will be auctioning off a real-life Tron light cycle that is being touted as a work of mobile art. The custom electric vehicle was built for Sotheby's Andrews collection, which features a lineup of 75 cars and assortment of memorabilia. The lot will be auctioned off with the light cycle on May 2nd of this year because Paul Andrews and his son Chris just have too many cars. A majority of the light cycle design is fiberglass, however carbon fiber and Kevlar were used in areas that needed extra structural strength. It is powered by a 96 volt direct drive electric motor with lithium batteries and a computer controlled throttle. It also features rebound and compression damping with a spring preloaded front suspension and rigid rear suspension in addition to front and rear hydraulic brakes. The iconic Bright Runners are made out of carved frosted plexiglass with LED backlighting. The bike is expected to bring in $25,000 to $40,000, so get those pedals ready. Based in Nashville, Tennessee, Artiphone is a little startup that has spent the last four years in Music City trying to create intuitive music expression for everyone. Their solution is the Instrument One, a patented multi-instrument technology that allows you to play any instrument in any style with a single device. It's fully MIDI compatible and works with any music creation software that uses a standard, which just so happens to be the universal language of digital music, so it kinda works out. According to beta testers, what makes the device unique, other than an entirely pressure-sensitive interface capable of playing any sound, are the digital strings. 
Artiphone has figured out a way to create string-like playability on a digital device that responds to the force of the user's touch. Like many new startups, Artiphone has turned to Kickstarter to launch Instrument One, and it's just blowing the doors off. <laughs> Go. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. The company's original $75,000 goal has long been surpassed, amassing $1.1 million from 3,000 backers, all for a simple little digital instrument that's just... It's beautiful. I think it, it feels, even though I don't hold instruments often, it feels really comfortable. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Beautiful and wild. With only three days remaining, click the link below to back the instrument one. I know, Alex wants one. Come on, love, really, it's just the next logical step in digital instruments since Jable started rocking socks off with a saxophone. <laughs> Been doing this for like two years. We're just not gonna do a montage or anything. What say goodbye. We, should, what should we do? I, should say do, goodbye. Say that. Bye. I mean, we walked Chris out. I said we walk her out. Just walk you out. We're walking you out. We're walking we me pack, out. We right packed now? your bags. Right now. Going. I'm just gonna leave yeah. right now. We're gonna, yep. Just, well, actually, yeah. Do you want me to finish this Door. first? Yep. Finish this. Someone to comment below. Comment below. I guess I'm leaving. Walking again. Yep. I've been told that I'm making a big mistake. I'm throwing my 